So we got some more drama in the WordPress community, specifically with Bricks Ultimate, the plugin that's like an add-on for Bricks. And I don't want to make this channel a you know drama channel, but I do think that these types of things are important because I don't really care about this specific incident. I mean, I I have empathy for anybody that's affected and all that sort of stuff, but I tend to think of things on a broader scale. I don't want I don't want to necessarily just talk about this one incident in a vacuum. I want to talk about the concepts and the reasons why people are upset or whatever about this incident, but could literally have happened to any other plugin, any other developer, any other group of people, because I think that's important. Okay. I think it's important for us to learn from these experiences and just have a, have a, have a, have a, you know, think about them critically and then think, okay, if I'm going to ever develop a plugin, should I do this? Should I not do this? That's just how I think. And then we learn from other people's mistakes, our mistakes, whatever, and everybody moves forward. Okay. So I don't want this to be too long, but the idea here is that Bricks Ultimate is a plugin. It is an add-on for Bricks. It is not associated in any way with the main Bricks theme, or you know, the theme or the the software there at all. Uh, but it it does extend it in X Y Z way, whatever. And the whole thing is that somebody posted and said that they must have been affected. I didn't really get that full side of the story, but they must have been affected by the the decision for the developer of Bricks Ultimate, um, Chin Moy here, uh, Kumar Paul. Uh, having they put us a, a script inside Bricks Ultimate that when certain there's a point here where it's like if some coders bypass the license API so if you don't have a valid API license in there there's a, there's a script that runs that uh, puts puts malicious code on your website and just fucks your shit up I guess okay um, now we can't even really begin to have like I'm not a lawyer I don't you know I don't know the ins and outs of GPL and all that sort of stuff. But to me, this is where I'm looking at this from. Regardless of all that, I think I've read a lot of comments. I've read a lot of stuff about like GPL and you're able, like developers are able to put anything they want in the code because it's under that license. That's not, you can't hold them liable because, you know, you're, you're opting into that basically under that license. You have to take full responsibility. I'm actually kind of of that mindset. It seems like a very like freedom uh, based approach. That being said, okay, this is a beautiful example of just a potentially, and I'm, it's, it's relatively objectively because I haven't seen anybody that really like agrees with the concept of putting that in there. It's just a bad business decision. Like that's all, that's, that's the way you have to think about it. It's like, we just made a bad business decision. If McDonald's decided to stop selling, you know, well, if when McDonald's decides to stop selling the McRib or whatever anybody likes, right? Like that's just a bad business decision because a lot of people like it or whatever. You know what I mean? Like if I decide to put something in, it's just a bad business decision. And this is a little tighter because right, it's it's it 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 borders on that line of oh, is this malicious intent? Is this like, are you trying to hurt people? I don't really actually feel like that's what's going on here. I feel like it's more of like a heightened level of almost paranoia that somebody's going to steal your your software, which again, I understand. I, I'm full empathy for not wanting to get your shit stolen. I get that. But at the same time though, if I'm a if I'm a business owner thinking about that, regardless of what situation it's in, and I'm even going to take this off the screen. If I'm a business owner in that situation thinking about that, I'm probably going to think of it more as like, okay, let's let's do some risk management here. Is there any way that this could come back to fuck me from a like a rapport and public relations perspective? Well, now we know that it did. Okay, so that so if we if we go back in time or if we're looking into the future, you know, in other instances, is that concerning? It it's kind of concerning. There's a lot of risk to manage there if I'm if I'm putting shit in people's websites that they didn't ask for. Okay, so let's weigh that in there. Versus how many people are actually going to steal my shit? Like that that to me is the is the is the business conversation that you have at the at the fucking desk when you're thinking about putting malicious code into into a plugin. You know what I mean? Like it, it's 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 actually we don't even need to have a legal conversation. We could get there maybe in this sense now with this. But if you're in this position or you think about this or you zoom out, it is totally more than anything, especially in our environment of WordPress. It is just a bad business decision. It is a bad look. And all the comments that I've read, unfortunately, have made it seem like, wow, this is terrible. I'm never going to buy something from X, Y, Z, whatever this company ever again. It's unfortunate. I hope we all learn from that. Um, and I, and I don't wish any, again, I don't wish any harm on anybody as far as, you know, financial harm or anything like that. Hopefully we can rectify reputations and all that, but I'm telling you, reputation is really important. So when you're, it doesn't matter. It doesn't even fucking matter if you're, if you're a plugin company or if you're an agency, you have to be extremely transparent and, and honest with the people that you're dealing with. And don't try to like slide in like weird stuff like that. I feel like I, I, 
it's it's not it's not I'm not even again saying it's right or wrong from a like a moral standpoint. Like we're, we're, like we're just we're talking just business here. It's like do you do, would like think of everything that you do and be like, hmm, would my customers appreciate this? There's no way that 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 conversation was had. I feel like, and again, I I think that's an important conversation to have. It's like would my customers feel weird if they knew about this? Should I ask a couple people maybe if this is a good idea first? And it doesn't, it's not just this case. It's literally anything you do. Like, should we change a UI element? We're probably going to ask them. I get UX researchers all the time. It's like, maybe we should ask about these things too. I don't know. Those are just my thoughts, high level. If you completely disagree with me, I'd love to hear it in the comments. If you agree with me, let me know too. Whatever, like the video, whatever you need to do. But again, I'm just trying to take these examples that are happening in a vacuum, like, you know, in a vacuum one off and think, hey, what are the actual concepts and learning experiences that we can all take from this, no matter what area of WordPress or, or, or life really we're in? And then hopefully we all continue to get better and we all continue to move forward. So that's my goal. Um, thank you guys so much for listening. I greatly appreciate it. And I'll talk to you in the next one.